came up to me. He's just like, hey man, I got this uh, scorpion. I wanted to know if you wanted to eat it. I have a, a nice you. gimbal skills, dude. <laughs> the gimbal fellas. Real nice. I haven't looked at it yet. It's in like a little plastic cup in there. Yeah. yeah. It's it's about like like that big. Like. Ew, dude. Like, wait, is that like you're supposed to eat that? Yeah. yeah. Dude, you're not gonna it's even got a little silicone pack. Oh, keep it fresh. God, just thinking about it. Makes oh, I know. Oh, and see, like the tail's like tucked in there. Yeah. He's gonna eat a scorpion. I know. It. I came out of hiding for it. <laughs> <laughs> I whoa! I never said I was eating it. I mean. It, Take a nibble. Oh, under the impression you are. So I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> you want to split it? Uh, yeah, I'll split it. Uh, it's not poisonous. <laughs> Is he trying to kill me? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. The package doesn't say anything. I'll eat a leg too. I mean, you want a leg, or are you gonna? I mean, oh no, we're splitting it down the middle. Down the middle. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I think like, it's just gonna be like mostly just like crunchy, crunchy yeah. nothingness. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't yeah, taste really... bad, but it doesn't taste great. <laughs> It's like a Triscuit. Triscuit. <laughs> Nature's Triscuit. I love Triscuit. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Fuck me. It's good. It's pretty good. It's just crunchy and salty, not in... Your face says something other than crunchy. It has a little bit of an aftertaste. The, the fact that I'm eating a scorpion and thinking about it is <laughs> really making me unsettled. They at least have the protein or something. I would imagine yeah. there's some protein in there. there you go. Insects well, tend to have look. more protein than like beef, so. Honestly, the swallow tastes good. It's like beef jerky. Yeah, right? it's kind of like smoky. The swallow tastes like beef jerky. Like when it was in your mouth, oh. Yeah. Yeah, just like chewing like just a remember, shell. swallow, don't spit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, we, I'm not okay with that comment. <laughs> we um, ate a scorpion for the first time. Yeah. Thanks for bringing it out. Uh, Thanks no for problem. doing it with us. Yeah. What, is, what are we going to get into next? What is going on, guys? Welcome back to Vlogmas, the daily vlog. It's currently 8.07, and we're driving an hour away to Wallingford to pick up an engine and to also pick up a door, which we can probably fix our door, and we will, but if the dude that has the engine also has a driver door, I already know I'm gonna crash again. If I crash my first lap, I'm 100% gonna crash the car again, so I'm just gonna get the new door, get it painted, get my fender painted, try to fix my mangled fender that's on the Z right now, and then we can just have spares so we can pop and swap, but we are heading there, and I guess that's all I gotta say to you guys. So let's go get this freaking engine. CT Bozo's up. I think they're Beatles, dude. They're Beatles. Yo, we that got Grillo. Christmas Beatles. Dude, these are actually fire. I'm into this. That's sick. How the fuck are they seeing? Oh, that's sick. The pink one. I'm it is sick. Here, stick the camera out the window. Wow, that looks so cool. So, this is our new engine. We're actually getting it for super cheap, and that's because when he bought it from the auction, the car didn't come with a key. I understand I'm taking a giant risk, and to be honest, I don't even have to tell you guys this. I could have really just put it in the car, and if it didn't run, just act dumb and be like, oh my god, why does it not run? But I'm a transparent kind of guy. I'm taking the risk. 650 bucks for this unit. They're usually what? How much do you usually sell these things for? Running probably like 1,000, 1,200, depending on. So I'm saving about 600 bucks and I mean, realistically, he said that it turns over, the oil's clean, everything is good. It wasn't a front end hit, but it didn't hit the engine. I mean, it still has the serpentine or the drive belt and everything, so. Nothing's cracked, no oil. Let's be cleaner real, this thing looks a hundred times cleaner than my Z. Like my Z is disgusting, so. To save 600 bucks, we're gonna go for it. No oil leaks anyway. Dude, yeah, no, the thing's fresh. So, I guess we're gonna find out, hopefully this video. I'm really striving that we're gonna have this thing in and running, and we're not running. We'll find out. Oh. No beer, dude. All right, we're taking this door off. Freezing, it's like 27 out right now. Oh, shut up. Can't see, but I'm just going for it. Oh. Wow, what was that? The camera. I was trying to move it to get the shot. Dude, this ain't got working. It. What do you mean we got, we got it? it? No, we don't got Push it. it in hard. You fucked me, bro. I was getting painted anyway. Who cares? What do you mean to force it in? You can't force it in. Look it. You're fucking me. <laughs> we got two bolts. Oh, yeah, dude. Get it. <laughs> I'm fucking there you go, buddy. Get it, dude. <laughs> 
Come on, That's man! Smallest fucking wrench. I believe in you, man. Oh, oh there it is. Nice one. The tool selection is very slim here. Warmth selection. We get it. It's cold. Wait. We're all cold. It's fine. It's only 31. Dude, wait till it's like winter, winter. We'll get to one degree. I don't want that. Matt, we're gonna get you to snowboard this here. No. no. <laughs> you saw me on a skateboard, like, buddy. Another employee. Did Listen, you man, me I broke my hip snowboarding. I can't imagine what Matt's gonna do. I can die. You probably would die. Be paralyzed after. You might be paralyzed. On a I got a season pass to Dude, I've been snowboarding twice. I broke, I fractured my hip, and it's then I got a concussion. I am an no asshole. Chill. I know. I do have no chill. <laughs> my first time snowboarding, I tried to 360 this gap, and I landed. I did like half a corkscrew, and I landed. 360, a 15 foot fucking jump. <laughs> First time ever <laughs> snowboarding, and then I landed directly on my hip on a patch of ice. They had to save me with those stupid crawlers. I mm -hmm. couldn't walk for two weeks. Nice. Yeah, and then my friend Devin Zekis convinced me to go again, and I got a concussion. I was the guy that drove there. I just left him. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't even tell him I was leaving. I just laughed. Left Fell, him. hit my head, and said, fuck these guys. Freezing to death? <laughs> Never went back. I'll never snowboard again. I probably can't because my ankle. Right. Well, we're pulling the door in the fucking cold. Yeah, you get the point. This box. <laughs> you got that thing? Strong man, Devin. Floor it. Floor it. Floor it. Hold on. Good morning, boys and girls. Well, we're starting the day off with just good old Planet Fitness real quick. I'll be honest with you, I don't really have enough time to do this. My goal today is to get the engine in the car and hear it run. I think that's a pretty good goal. If we can get that thing running today, we already got that door from last night. We have another fender. I already talked to my painter. He's ready to go on Tuesday. Um, ideally, I'd love to get the engine in and prep the door, prep the fender myself, so I can save a couple hundred dollars there but who knows, I mean, we got a long day ahead of us, but I need to go to the gym first. We went to the drift event this weekend and I was way too busy yesterday, so you always gotta try to fit it in and your day just goes so much better if you start it off at the gym. I'll see you, I guess, actually, right now. I can't even lie, I feel so freaking good right now. It's something about like going to the gym, like you look forward to that like pain and strain afterwards. If you don't go to the gym now and you go for like a couple days and you're just so sore that you just don't wanna do anything, if you pushed like a week, two weeks top, just push through that pain and just continue to go and just know it's temporary, I swear on my life, like when you start to go get into the gym more frequently, like you look forward to that pain, if that makes sense. Maybe I'm a, maybe I'm a psycho but like when you come out and like you're all tired and you're strained like you just feel like you accomplish something and it feels really good and then it helps you in your overall life with everything else because like you go to the gym you're like oh my god I gotta eat healthy because if I don't then I just went to the gym for no reason and it really helps you kind of maintain a good workflow and good life honestly I'm like stoked I'm out of breath right now but I'm stoked to um go to the shop get working on this engine and uh getting the Z running man this is what I needed today and um let's kick today in the ass let's get it. All right, guys, so walk with me. We just got to the shop. I got this box. It says N54 on it, yeah. and it has Will's name on it, but my address, right? Yeah. So right off there, I was a little skeptical, because I know Will's not ordering things to my house. I know it's not him. Keep walking. Where are we walking to? Dude, I'm not opening the box near the shop. Hear me out. So I open it slowly downstairs. All I see is newspapers. I'm like, I'm not going to open this. Yeah. I read the thing, and it says, hissing cockroaches. No. I swear to God, dude, I'm not lying, and it's from Health Biggers. I looked up Health Biggers, didn't find anything. So Is we're gonna the open it over return here. Return address, the name of. So I'm gonna open it in this parking lot. I'm fucking. Oh, I'm scared. I'm not even exaggerating. If you throw these at me, I'm leaving. Like I'm done with you. <laughs> I'm, like if this is all a gag. So, dude, it says handle with care. I'm not gonna throw it at you. Don't be a pussy. Huh? Ready? Keep warm says N54 around the box. This is, looks probably super sketchy walking around with a box. So I, this is the first thing I did. I opened it carefully, because I don't trust anyone in this world. And it says, Madagascar hissing cockroaches. And then it says, write N54 on the side of the box in large font. What the fuck is going on here? Do you think there's cockroaches in here? I think this is a fan. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 10 mixed sex sub-adults? What does that mean? Mixed sex with like different genders. So they're gonna breed. Oh my god, this ass, whoever is the did this. Do I open it? 
Like, I don't want, can you open it? Like, I don't want to open it. I don't want to open it. I got, I'm actually, like, I'm not even joking. I'm scared. Yeah, no, this is disgusting. I don't want to see cockroaches come out of this thing. I might scream like a girl and run away. I'm not exaggerating. You're not gagging, right? Like, you didn't send this to yourself in the joke. Why the fuck would I do that, Matt? Do you, you, you've been with me long enough. You think I would do that? No, but, like, I don't know if this is a gag on me. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't open Just the box. Open the box upside down and drop it down. Dude, I don't want to see the cockroaches come out of this thing. I don't. Whoever Can you it. do it? I'll pay you 20 bucks to open it. I'll it's give you $20. Worth it. It's not worth it. I'll give you 20 bucks. Mysterious package. With $30. I'll give you 30 bucks. Mm. Open the box. Come on, 30 bucks. No. Dude! I'll dump it out for 30 bucks. No, you have to open it. No. See, this is why I think it's a gag on me now. <laughs> Dude, I swear <laughs> on my life. Dude, just open the box. I will. <laughs> Listen, you're the one that gets something from opening this box. I, I don't get, get anything. I don't get anything. We should make Will fucking open this box. It says his name. It does say his name. How do they have your address? That's what I'm saying. Dude, this whole thing just doesn't make sense. This could be a bomb. No, it's under a pound. It's 15 ounces. Look, I looked into this box. Yeah, 15 ounces is still There's no way they're going to be a bomb. Don't say that in, the, in public, first off. We're in public. We're in a parking lot. Yeah, but All don't right. be saying... We're, we're standing around a box, dude. I'm paranoid. All right, just kick it open. I mean, nothing's coming out. They're probably dead. It's cold as hell. They're from Madagascar. 30 bucks, dude. They're cold. They're Th dead. What do you think I have planned? I don't have anything planned. I swear my life. Here, 30 bucks. You have to open it slowly, though. See, this is why I... Think well, I mean, if, we're gonna, if I'm going to pay for it, I want to be entertained. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> That's one. Don't litter, either. Even I'm though not. it's biodegradable. Oh, it's going. <laughs> Go again. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Oh, you're <laughs> Dude, who oh. did this? You're awful. I'm not awful. Whoever did this is awful. All right, all right, all right. All right we're getting down I, to the I, wire. I have a feeling we're in a sealed container. <gasps> oh, there's cockroaches, dude. Oh, my God, those are huge. Oh, dude. Dude, you had that in your house for how long? I don't know. No, it was outside this morning. I brought oh, it this... inside. No, dude. Oh. Oh, Dude, God. these things are nasty. Those are so gross. It looks like the thing fucking Tyler the Creator ate. Dude, I'm so happy. They're, that's disgusting, dude. What do we Who do with these? Who sent this? What do, we, what do we do with these, honestly? No, that was a pretty easy 30 bucks, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're $30 richer. Congratulations. They're actually cockroaches. Yeah, well, I mean, what? You just leave them here. Fuck them. Aren't these? Oh, my God. And they're... Dude, they're going to produce. Someone wanted to fuck me. Yeah, somebody wanted to fuck you. But the, if they wanted to fuck me, they wouldn't have taped it, right? Well, I think the company... The, the, these people didn't go out and catch these things. They paid a company to do this. That's why it says right N54 on it. Because some asshole paid a company probably 100 bucks to send these crazy cockroaches. No, it was 34 bucks. 34 bucks. I'm, I'm entirely grossed out. Whoever did this is a fucking loser. I actually hate you. This doesn't mean send more shit. Yeah, I mean, I'll never... I'm never gonna do we're, another video like this again. Yeah, we're not we're not entertaining this. Like it was funny once, but I'll never open another box. I want to crush them. No, no, don't fucking do that. We don't want these out in Torrington. Wait, I don't even want these in Torrington. Madagascar infestation from Torrington. I want to fucking start a fire and put the, these in it. I'm down. Let's burn the box. <laughs> well, it's got plastic. Okay, so. Let them loose in dude, the Dude, these are so gross, dude. They what, are nasty. What do I do with these, honestly? They're your responsibility now. I hate this They're person. They're honestly less gross than palmetto bugs. No, these are disgusting. Oh, palmetto bugs are nasty because they fly. I hate these things. Dude. I hate that person. I'm down to fight this motherfucker. Yeah. I'm down. Next boxing video. Fucking boxing Whatever. match. I want to punch this dude right in the jaw. Yeah, come out. Fucking pussy. You know where we're at. Ew, dude. I'm so grossed out. Ew, their eyes, dude. They look like fucking catfish. Ew, I'm done. I'll be honest. This isn't my responsibility. This is Will's. Yeah, this is his name. This is Will's name. It doesn't say my name. I'm going to call him and tell him to come pick these things up. Yeah, we don't like, own Like, yo, come get your box. Here he is. Yo. What's going on? Where you at? My house. Um, can you come to the range real fast? Your box, your package came into my house. Huh? Your, I don't know. It just says your name, and it says N54 on it. Did you order something to my house? No. It literally says Will Guido. What the fuck? Yeah. Maybe okay. you got a gift. Yeah, just um, like just come and grab it. Okay. <laughs> just give it to Will. <laughs> it says his name, and I don't want to be responsible for these things. Well, you're gonna take yeah. this up real quick. We'll be back. I'm just walking away because you're sick. Yeah. That's why. This sick. is true. I didn't know. I didn't open six it. Six feet, dude. You better back up. I know. How you feel? Not that bad.
Bullshit, dude. <laughs> Every other time I get like we're sick, it's not good. You like, actually didn't order something to my house? No. I mean, dude, it says keep handle with care, keep warm. This definitely came from someone. Does it say? I wasn't gonna open your package <laughs> though, even though it was from my house. I wish like we can get close and personal. Yeah. Go a little closer. I don't. <gasps> What is it? What is it? Dude. <laughs> what is it? Dude, it's cockroaches. <laughs> no, it's not. It's cockroaches. Oh, and they're alive, dude. They're alive. <laughs> they're you... alive, dude. <laughs> what are you gonna do with them? I'm just gonna, I don't know. You, don't, you can't throw them out here. Well, they have to be killed. <laughs> yeah, you get, start squashing. Well, open that here. Dude, I've never seen one. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude, those things are gr Dude, you swear you know nothing about no, this. No, I, I, the box came to my house and I brought it here. You think I would order cockroaches? Well, fuck keeping them warm, just let them outside and freeze. Who gives no, a shit? Not opening that here. No. Wait, just leave them in there. Don't throw them in a river. Oh my, yeah, oh throw my. Throw them in the river. <laughs> Dump it out in the river. Dude, it's, it's so big. Dude, I don't even want to go near them. I hate cockroaches. Dude, you have to take a look at this. <laughs> oh, no, you have What's to. That? I don't even want to touch it. I, oh like, my God. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you, uh, straight up, I'll give you a thousand dollars to eat one. Bro, <laughs> do you see how big you got cold. it Get is? Get away from me. Yeah, no, what it's What are you big. naming them? They're yours. Yeah, dude, you can't leave those here. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> You can't leave those here. Dude, look, they started going after You can't the, leave these here. They dude. started eating the other one. Oh, is he dead? Yeah. Oh, bro, wow. what is <laughs> dude. What are you naming your new pets? So I think it's not N54. Maybe they want you to put it in your N54. Let's run an N54 off cockroaches. Sure, you wanna go get an N54? I mean, no, realistically, to kill them, we could put them in an uh, engine and start it. They have to be dead after that. It's not gonna do anything to the engine, I assume. Let's do it to the shop. No. I'll pay you. No. I'm putting bugs Thousand in Thousand to eat one. Dude, that's like a good deal, but I know you're going to pick that top big one, and I'm not doing it. That's a good deal? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah. It's not bad. Oh, so he's considering it. Yeah. <laughs> Let me do a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks. I'll throw in a hundred. Oh, oh shit. We're at eleven hundred. But like, I'm not eating that big ass thing. Like, No, you can eat the small one. It's got to like crawl around your mouth for a few seconds and stuff. Mm -hmm. Jeff. Well, I hate to be this guy, but this is your responsibility. Has your name on the box. I, I don't want that anywhere near me. Yeah, that's fine. It can go in the fucking garbage. No. Where? Dude, you can't. What if it's an invasive species and it just kills the ecosystem? Yeah, you know what I'll you do? You gotta kill them. I would throw them in a river. Dude, someone really like went out of their way. I know. They really did. Is this like calling me a roach or a cockroach or something? <laughs> What's going know. on here? I'm pissed it got sent to my house. How what if I opened that in my house and they got out uh, away? I think that was probably their goal. That's fucked up. All right, well, I guess thanks for the cockroaches. <laughs> yeah, we are never opening anything again, like actually. So yeah. it was funny, it was a good joke, but if you send it again, you'll just never see a reaction, so don't do it. Yeah, no, I mean, we got, we got your name down. Save yourself the money. It's cool, but like, it's not cool. It's, it's, it's definitely like, not cool. No, it's like, there's no, like, nothing out of it. It's just <laughs> like, oh, you sent them to me. Cool, I'm gonna throw them out. <laughs> yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm like, gonna kill them. Like, <laughs> Thanks, like, bro. whatever. Well, you have your new cockroach buddies to hang out with. So. Yeah, I have been lonely. Just, that, um. That's the worst part. <laughs> You're acting weird about this, too. Yeah, I'm weirded out, for sure. Like, have you, like, had this happen to you before? No, but I don't want to happen again. Yeah, do not send cum to the mailbox. <laughs> I think the weirdest thing I've ever gotten was a cum? pocket pussy. Yeah? Yeah, I sold it to Marcus for two dollars. <laughs> yeah. Did you use it first? No, I didn't uh. use it. <laughs> that would have been funny though. Why so cheap? You could have gotten at least 20 out of him. Because they got it for free and it was a fucking pocket pussy. I don't know. A girlfriend. Alright, well. Thanks, but no thanks. Thanks, but fuck you at the same time. <laughs> it's time to get a little serious now, huh? I'm kind of screwed because I need a pressure washer and I don't have one. But I kind of just want to put the engine in and stuff because at the end of the day, like once the new engine's in, like I don't, I'm never gonna touch it, you know? This is just the seat time car, so why, why am I gonna take all the extra time, clean it and stuff? I should, yeah. I, I agree, if I had a pressure washer, I definitely would, but now it's, do I load this on the trailer, bring it to a car wash, go buy a pressure washer, hook it up, do all these things, like 
we're kind of on a time crunch and or we need to see if this engine runs so yes honestly i would love to clean the engine bay we're not going to and i'm just going to take this transmission off pop the clutch off and then we'll go grab the other engine cool thing about it is it's got the harness it has everything it's literally a direct drop in from this engine so we literally just have to pop the clutch pop the transmission on and drop it in so at least there's that no harm no foul let's uh get to work With a finger, dude? Look at that finger strength, baby. That really hurts, actually. The older I get, the more scared I get. Don't use chrome sockets on a thousand foot-pound impact. So that's why I have these on. <laughs> Don't fall, don't do it, don't do it. Nice, dude, I love life, shit. We need a pilot bearing, fuck. That was an auto. We're just not gonna get any more warm days. What are you talking about, it's warm out. I'm chilling. It's like 30. It's 38. Oh wow, it's really not that bad. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this came out of an automatic, but it doesn't have a flex plate on it, and it looked like it had a pilot bearing. I guess I gotta go look at the other one. That can definitely put a loop in things today. Worst comes worst, we put the engine in without the trans, because we can still try to run it. All right, guys, so we're a really behind schedule, but uh, the old engine on the engine stand, I'm just gonna keep it complete right now. Um, we're gonna rebuild this thing. We're gonna take the heads off, get them machined, clean it up just so if this one ever blows up at least we'll have another backup um, a lot of people just said just slap head gaskets and send it that's all fine and dandy but the fact that i found that thing for 650 dollars as long as it runs it was kind of a no-brainer we can build this on the side and we have more time and then we have literally double of everything so as long as everything works out perfectly which normally it doesn't we'll be aight but i'm just waiting for matt he wants you to just go get some loctite we got the engine all the way in the back here. I think what I want to do too is this is super annoying to work with. I don't know why this is, but they have one stud and then they want you to put a bolt through the other two. I think I just want to weld two bolts here because it's such a nightmare to try to tighten these when it's in the car and you can't ha put these on first because they hit the subframe. It's kind of a disaster, but dude, if this thing runs, man, if this thing was a steal, dude. Look at how clean this engine is. It's actually insane how clean it is. Super hyped on this. Super, super hyped. Just waiting on him. I did think it was an auto because I was talking to another dude and that one was an out of an auto, but it does have a pilot bearing and everything, so we're good there. False alarm. I was a little nervous about that, but we're all good. I'm stoked. Um, we're just kind of, uh, it's already kind of late. So we gotta figure out the daily vlog. Just inspecting everything on this engine so we don't have problems but with putting it in. I did notice one of the heater core lines, this same little plastic extension snapped on my old engine. It's a good thing we already replaced that. If you look on this one, it's just literally a straight fitting to extend the hose or whatever, but it's literally just this. I'm just gonna take this off, put it onto that engine, and we'll be good there, but other than that one connector, I don't see anything too bad. I gotta figure out what the hell this is. Yeah, I really don't know, to be honest but it's that connector. This one's beautiful. I could just cut it and de-splice it, but I don't, I don't know. I don't want to do that, but who knows? All right, so we got this thing on. That's all good. I'm definitely nervous about this. You can see that this is cracked a little bit. Um, This, I don't really know what we're gonna do. I mean, ideally, if it can just plug in and lock, I mean, I'll never have to unplug that again, so that wouldn't be a problem, but I'm still trying to figure that out. But other than this, that, and now this is fixed. Everything else looks pretty good. I kind of just looked everything over and everything kind of seems to check out. So I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to put the flywheel on. Now that Matt just got back with um, the Loctite and we're going to put the clutch on and all of that and um, get ready to put the transmission on and then we'll be a uh, Gucci. They're looking pretty good. No trans on. We leveled up, brother. Hello. We have leveled up. We're actually using chains now. On an engine leveler. Yup. We're doing we're doing something right. We got wow, that sits nice and level. Leveler is really doing its job. Gotta worry about anything major. Watch it just dip down those dots. I know, it just falls. As soon as it gets down. Good Dang, job, Devin. Dude. I'm pretty hyped right now. Put this sucker around though. All right, so we're just gonna get this into place. We're gonna lower the car and I guess start putting this bad girl in. Definitely not gonna run to, in this video, but no, when this video is over, we're still working and we're gonna get this thing going. 
I got work tomorrow, so. Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> the motivator! The motivator's back. Dude. Wow! Wow, how long did that take us? What, to actually lower it in? Just to lower it in, yeah. Maybe like three minutes. Three minutes, and that was just like, because this thing kind of sucks and you really got to push it, but like... It literally like, just dropped right in. Now it's the most forgiving engine mounts ever. That was probably the easiest engine jump I ever did. We said last video that these things are kind of a nightmare. They're really not that bad because everything, I mean, other than getting the front end off, like... It's, it's a lot of bolts. It's a lot of bolts, but once the engine's in, there's not like really that much you have to do. Like you have to run the harness back underneath the dash. You got to do the heater core lines, the gas lines. Lines. Um, we're gonna swap over the power steering pump just because we didn't want to break the system. The oil cooler kind of sucks. That's honestly probably my least favorite thing to do, but it's fucking in, dude. Yeah. That was super easy, even though it looks like a clusterfuck right now. The infinity swap. Oh, yeah, we're leaving the infinity for sure. Yeah. Does it say infinity? Well, that's the infinity. Oh, yeah, brother. This is the infinite lasting engine. Hopefully. <laughs> if it runs. We don't know if this runs yet. Yeah. But I mean, I'm a gambling man. They'll probably Usually fight. I lose at gambling, but I'm a gambling man. Well, you're down before, so now it's your time to be up. Oh, that is true. I'll be you're down. Valley. I'll be down bad if this if this doesn't run. I'm down bad. You're in a Not peak. even because of the money, because of the work. Yeah, pretty big valley, but hopefully a pretty big peak. We're peaking right to the top of the mountain. So, uh, yeah, fuck it. I guess we're going to end the video right here because it's vlogmas. It's 7.30 right now. Matt just finished editing, so just has to put this clip in, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Just because we're ending the video doesn't mean we're going to stop working. This thing will be running tomorrow. Well, if it runs, right? Yeah. Subscribe for more. Thank you guys for being here. Well, I was up till 2 a.m. getting some merch things ready. So hopefully by the end of this week, we're going to have that merch drop. And like I said, if you're an OG, you're definitely going to want to be involved in this. I'm also going to look at some houses tomorrow. If you guys want to see that vlog, that's going to be on Patreon only. So if you guys want to see some house tours and see what I'm kind of getting into there and explaining that side of the story, you can join the Patreon. If not, all good as well. Get ready for the merch drop because um, we're working 14 hours a day on these fucking... December vlogs. Yeah. So let's get it.